If you're wondering why your flute sometimes dribbles and spit comes out the end and sometimes gets stuck in a key, I'm going to explain exactly why your flute dribbles and if you're a bit of a nerd like me, you'll find this really fascinating. Speaking of fascinating, the little technique that makes high notes easier, I'm going to tell you about that at the end of this video too. Back to dribbling flutes. Two points. Number one, it's not spit. <laughs> it's actually not spit. Number two, a dribbling flute is more likely to happen on a cold, rainy day. And that's where the bit of the, the weather nerd bit comes in. I'll explain more in just a second. So when you're playing along on the flute and the warm air, moist air of your breath hits the cold surface of the inside of your flute, it instantly condenses into water, not spit. I've got three really good examples for you. Number one is when you have a shower and the warm air, so the steam, hits the cold mirror and the moisture in that steam instantly condenses into water and it starts dripping down the mirror. Number two is like when you get in the car with a hot pizza in a box. This is back in the day before home delivery pizza and the windscreen instantly fogs up. It's the same thing. And number three example, which is the super weather nerd bit. This is my favorite one. When warm, moist air hits cooler air, clouds form and clouds are moisture. So I am Jane Kavanagh. I live in Sydney. And yes, I do love watching clouds form out my window, but I also love teaching flute players like you how to get faster progress through proper technique. And now speaking of proper technique, high notes. If you want to come and learn the proper technique for getting high notes, which is obviously easier and they sound nicer, go to www.flute.school slash high notes, and I'll show you for free exactly how to get high notes much more easily. So now you know why your flute dribbles and I'll see you next time.